Delivering a feature with deep learning models often involves building a complex inference pipeline. Two significant sources of this complexity are the need for deploying models from different frameworks as part of a single pipeline and making the pipeline adaptable to accommodate ensembles with a complex flow. To demonstrate how Triton can address these challenges, let's take a closer look at the Stable Diffusion text to image generation pipeline. By the end of this discussion, you will be able to build a service that generates images like this with a basic text prompt. In this pipeline, we have a tokenizer, text encoder, a unit, and a various auto encoder. Furthermore, the unit needs to run in a loop till the denoising steps are complete. For this example, we are going to deploy the encoder on the Onyx backend, the VAE on the TensorRT backend, the tokenizer and unit will be on the Python backend along with the business logic controlling the flow of the pipeline. Users can select from a wide range of backends, be it TensorFlow, PyTorch, Paddle Paddle, OpenVINO, and more. They can also build their own custom backends to tailor to the needs of their use case. Now, let's look at the model repository. Three models are being served in this repository, the encoder, the VAE, and the code encode pipeline model. In Triton, Python backends are also treated as models. Instead of an Onyx file or any other model, users can define what they need in a model.py file. In this model, we have two main functions, initialize and execute. Initialize will run whatever code is included when the model gets loaded into Triton. Execute runs when the model receives a query. In our case, we are loading the tokenizer, scheduler, and the unit at the time of initialization. In the execute function, there are three points of interest. First, we use the Triton Python backend API for inference of the encoder model. Second, inside the denoising loop, we run the unit model. If we had chosen to export the unit for optimizations, we could have used the API to run inference. Third, we use the same API to run the variational autoencoder. While we didn't go over features like dynamic batching, concurrent model execution, and more, all of these features are readily available to use in this pipeline. Okay, with the underlying concepts understood, let's see the pipeline in action. We will give it a prompt and hit generate and wait just for a second. Here we go. You can find the code used for today's discussion below this video, along with the links to Triton's documentation.